Today I'm here to talk about a curriculum for a new urban planet. How can architects respond to a situation where we're missing two million units of housing in Caracas, when we can barely build 25,000 units a year? I believe in a kind of more freer city. Declare a chunk of the city experimental zone, where you release the zoning completely on that piece of city. You're going to see that it's going to be more homogeneous and more uh, uh, well designed than any other part of the city where zoning rights are controlled in arbitrary ways. So informal settlements are not the problem but the solution. They're no longer places of poverty because not everyone who lives in informal cities are poor. If you want to solve the problem about housing, don't build any. Just let people build their own housing. Start to invent ways in which you can lay down the infrastructure, create sites and services. The problem is mobility, social mobility, but actually physical mobility and connectivity, right? So you could say, maybe we need to not aspire for upward mobility necessarily only as a concept, but maybe downward mobility also. So we have to bring some kind of elitist uh, uh, concepts about the city down and bring up, uh, let's say, the socially excluded up. So maybe we can meet in the middle, somewhere in the middle. That would be a livable city for me. So as urban designers and architects, we are facing a crisis. Things can be combined. Why don't we design architecture that can be moved, that can be transported, that can be taken all around? Imagine if we could move people over the mountain to the other side to the beaches, cable car would be fantastic, right? And so cable car is beautiful because it's rhizomatic. You can move it on dots and points and not like a spoken wheel diagram. It's not a central diagram, it's a shifting grid, right? The cable car now is being exported to Brazil and it will go down to one of the Olympic sites. Some of the newest urban mobility concepts are coming out of Latin America. So I understand that Cape Town really needs to rethink its public mobility system and its public, you know, transport system. For decades, the focus has rested comfortably in the global north and the norms of Western culture. And that's why architects are falling out of legitimacy, because we really are only designing 1% of what's built. So the city is a very complicated thing, but the truth is it's about the people. You're forgetting people. People are the essence, density, social density. If we could work somehow to make cities and measure them in terms of social density, how many things are happening in the same place at the same time?